welcome to Yan Food Times. Before we try five different things today, make sure to like and subscribe. Snack number one, Ringo Pie, which is apple pie. I got this as a gift and I'm curious to see what it's like. A lot of times, these little Japanese snacks can be very sweet or have an artificial apple flavor, but we shall find out. I could smell a bit of apple scent and it looks filling and pretty thick. Let's try. It was a bit flaky, but it seemed like it's a few days old pastry feel. It seemed like this pastry wanted to be as flaky and light as other pastries, but failed to do so. The apple flavor was semi-present, but it didn't taste fresh, so I will pass on it. Snack number two, manju shaped like a chick. Manju is a Japanese flour-based pastry, which is dense, so they're always bite-sized. I said it's supposed to be a chick, right? Well, they got a face plant. And lost its beak. <laughs> I didn't want to bite its head, so the bum it is. The outer layer was nice and light, but the inside was quite hard, harder than I expected. It didn't have much flavor, but the denseness made it a bit filling, so I will sadly pass this one as well. Snack number three. My mom actually ate half of this already, but fear not, I have one more unopened. These are ebi or shrimp chips. I guess it partnered with Demon Slayer, which I don't know much about other than it's very popular. I've seen these snacks before. Some are savory, like this, or sweet. Let's try some out. Super cute and very thin. Some may shy away from the shrimp flavor, but I didn't mind. It was very good. It had a nice crisp and the flavor was nice and savory. No wonder mom ate a bunch already. It's addicting. Moving on to snack number four. Matcha Kit Kat, but not just any kind. It's otona no amasa, which means the sweetness of adults. So maybe kids won't like it? Anyways, I've tried lots of Kit Kats from original strawberry, yuzu, sake, and various green tea Kit Kats, but not this one yet. Overall, Kit Kat is very sweet to me, so I thought this would be the same. It had a nice green mossy color and it was very fragrant with matcha scent. Let's break it up. The texture was the same as other Kit Kats, but this had a stronger matcha flavor and I have to say not as sweet as others. I would like to make it even a bit more bitter and I think I'll be a Kit Kat fan. Last snack which is also sweet is a Frango's Mint Chocolate. Either people hate it or love mint. I love it. I'm so glad I got this as a gift. I've never heard of this brand before until now. The company Frango has been making mint flavor goodies since 1918. However, this brand also expanded to other flavors too, such as dark raspberry and dark sea salt. It was beautifully presented and the smell of mint just fumed up. It was very hard, so I'm glad it was bite-sized. I just wanted to show you the inside and it's just solid, which is fine. I do wish it was not as hard, but it was very delicious. The mint flavor was not overpowering and too strong. I liked it. Do any of these snacks interest you? Have you tried unique Kit Kat flavors? I also know you can make your own in Japan too. If you're a fan of mint, let me know what other kinds of brands are yummy and I'll try to find it. Thank you for watching Yan Food Times. Drop by again real soon.